I've got mail. I've got mail, I tell you. Mail. Two lots of mail. Right here, folks, I've got two lots of mail to open up. I'll open this one first because this has been sitting on the uh, this has been sitting on the back seat of my car for nearly a week. I apologise, but sometimes it just takes a while to get the uh, get the video made and produced, and I've got a lot on, and you know how it goes. So it's from Matt Thurling, and it weighs a ton. What have you got in here, Matt? Is it full of sinkers? While I'm opening, I've got to tell you something funny that happened to me last night. You wouldn't believe this. I walked out into my shed to do some recording and I went out there and I actually saw my pliers they were arguing with a screwdriver and then the hammer walked up to him and said to the pliers just ignore him he's only a tool right what have we got here we've got a bag inside a bag to Robbie fishing right in I go <laughs> Where did you say you worked, Matt? At the sticky tape factory? Right. I've met Matt Thurling. He is one of the nicest guys you'll ever be likely to meet. What have we got here? Lots of letters. That. Robbie Alexander Limited Edition Signature Series Bait Weights. Bait Weights. Like sinkers. Have a look and they've got my initials on them. Look at my own special sinkers with my initials on them. The Robbie Alexander. How good is that? Didn't I say just jokingly said what's this full of sinkers? It actually is. That is so cool. Robbie Alexander Limited Edition Signature Series Bait Weights 25 grams 18 grams 51 grams Big ones 14 grams No one's actually got a picture of me with a cot on it, look The biggest cot I caught, not last, not this season, the one before Just before the big deluge Got a big flash flood after that 11 grams And 33 grams how good is that? That is so awesome. The Robbie Alexander Signature Series Bait Weights. And they've got my initials on them. And you know what? If you look closely, you'll see there's a little line either side of RA. I kid you not, in my current job, when I sign off on medication charts, when I administer medication, anything I've got to sign off, I always put RA with a little line either side, exactly the same as what that is. Exactly the same. That's how I sign off on uh, official documents at work. It's just because when you sign a check, you put a little line each end and... Wow! Oh, that's just incredible. Now I've got lots and lots of letters to read. G'day Robbie, during lockdown over Easter, my kids wanted to do something for you because they shared your sadness at not being allowed to go outside and go camping and fishing. You were the subject of my 94 year old homeschool, no, nine year old, sorry Matt, sorry I don't know where I got the four from, your wives look like fours. You were the subject of my nine year old school homework writing task. Hope you can, hope you enjoy your letter and gifts, stay safe mate, cheers Matt Thurling. Doesn't matter how strong the current is, they're not going to roll along the bottom, sometimes ball sinkers can roll along the bottom when there's a bit of current they won't roll because they're flat I reckon that is so cool right let's look at some letters to Robbie g'day Robbie g'day my name is Joshua Thurling you know my dad from when you shared a river together at Wangaratta in 2019 didn't we ever we had so much fun the fishing was really quiet the air was full of smoke from the bushfires but we had a blast and hopefully next cod season we can get out and hopefully you can come too this time Josh I'm really sad we can't go fishing or camping at the moment since so since we couldn't go camping at Easter we had a little a little fire in an old wheelbarrow in our backyard. We cooked marshmallows, which were huge and yummy. I done the same thing, mate. I had my uh, 
I had my, I've got a backyard fire pit and I had it going a few times and unfortunately I burnt all my wood and then couldn't use my tandoor oven. For Easter I got two big bunnies, lots of small Easter eggs, a ball filled with green slime and blue tooth headphones. Awesome. So I can listen to my music. What did you get for Easter? Now, did how did you feel not being able to go fishing or camping? I can't remember what I got for Easter. I know I ate Easter eggs. I just can't remember whether they were mine. <laughs> And how did I feel about not being able to go fishing or camping? At first, when the uh, this bug that stopped us from going fishing, when it was really sort of rampant, I fully understood and it was easy to accept. But as it got less and less and less, and people were flocking to supermarkets to just to get out of the house, I started feeling a little bit upset that we couldn't go fishing. But thankfully, mate, that chapter is over and we're allowed to go fishing again. We decided to fill our Easter weekend in by making sinkers so we have a big supply when we can finally go fishing. My dad made some moulds using his drills then heated up the lead and poured the hot lead into the moulds and let it cool down. <clears throat> it was Poppy's job to file the sharp edges off them and my job was to weigh the sinkers. We thought you would enjoy some sinkers to take on your fishing adventures. Hope, hope they help. We have named them Robbie Alexander Signature Series Limited Edition Bait Weights. We have lots of sinkers and lots and lead left. So if you would like if you would like more of a particular size, just let us know and we would be delighted to send some more to you. Please keep on making your videos, they are fantastic to watch. You always make them interesting and if I learn a lot, I especially like the ones where you go out in your kayak. It's so interesting to see all the special places you go find and you can find and the different types of fish you can catch in your kayak. Thanks for taking the time to read my letter and I look forward to sharing a river with you when the world returns to normal. Cheers, Joshy. Joshy, 100% you're going to share the river with us. These are so cool and I tell you what, you are 100,000% going to be seeing these used in... Uh, going to be seeing these used in my videos. And every time I do, you guys will get mentioned. That is so awesome. That, that's one of the coolest things I've seen. I've never seen an, un, an unrollable, non-rolling flat bait weight. Thank you so much, Josh, now. Oh, and also I believe, thank you so much to, to Zach. Young, Josh's younger brother, Zach, he also helped out with making these sinkers because I was given the heads up before I opened the mail. So thank you very much Josh and Zach and the entire Thurling family. You guys are just absolutely amazing. And, and I am stoked with them sinkers. <laughs> the coolest looking things ever. Right, on to the next one. Dun, dun, dun. This is from Archie Lewis. Archie Lewis. I'm reading the address on this envelope where Archie's from. I'm not going to tell you because that's not the right thing to do. I'm in. I'm in. All right, read the letter first this time. Or shall I open the present first? Ah, I need the present. Fragile. I've got to be a bit careful. Is that? I love that smell. That woodworky, painty, lacquery sort of smell. How cool is that? Look. How cool is that? Now, I love Redfin. Most of you know how much I love Redfin. People tell me all the time, stop releasing Redfin. And I say, no. Isn't that really cool? I'm going to sit there in my shed. That is so unreal. I look at it every time I go out there. You've been to so much trouble to make that. It says, at Chasing Natives at CN Lures. So I'm guessing there's going to be a link to Instagram or CN, CN Lures somewhere. But I'll open the letter and see what it says first. That is a, an awesome red fin. I'm very impressed. I love those sort of things. Right. G'day Robbie, my name is Archie Lewis. I've been watching your videos for many years and lately I've noticed some space in your shed. So here you go, your very own hand carved redfin. I've, I've only recently started making timber products while in isolation to pass time and have been really enjoying it. However, due to only starting recently, I do not have the basic have do not have the basic tools which help 
making this product such as band saws, certain types of sandpaper, a sander in general, I use my dad's old car buffer and even a vice. I'm also colorblind which explains if there are if there are any odd colors but I've done my best. It is very hard to color realistic lures without an airbrush also so this is brushed traditionally as I don't have one but anyway here but anyway, here is your bread and butter fish. My Instagram accounts are at Chasing, Native, Chasing Natives and at CN Lures. So we've got Chasing Natives and CN Lures on Instagram. Check them out, folks. I'll put a link in the description below in this video. Thanks so much for the videos. Hope the family is, is all well. Cheers, Archie. P.S. To hang this up, just drill a nail into a wall or use anything that will hold it together. Hold will hold it. Mate, I don't even need to do that because my shed, being a traditional sort of shed, has got railing right around the edges and I'll just sit this on the railing. That is fantastic. Faith, check out Chasing Native Lures or CN Lures on Instagram. Give the, give the young fella some love. Absolutely fantastic. Mate, I hope you can get hold of tools. I am the worst handyman in the world. I, I've given up on tools. I just don't have a good relationship with tools. I don't own any more than the bare essentials. The only tools I know how to use are pliers when I'm unhooking fish. I can't nail two bits of wood together without them cracking. If that was me, when I put these screws in, that would have cracked up there. I just... It's not a specialty. It's not even close. <laughs> Righto, Joshy, Matt and Zach Thurling. Thank you so much for the Robbie Alexander Signature Series bait weights. Thank you to Chasing Natives for the uh, for the awesome ornament that's going to go in my shed. That is just unreal. As the young kids say, that's dope AF. And folks, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and you can follow me on my fishing adventures.